In this video I'd like to go over the unboxing and setup of one of the Slayer exciters. This is how they arrive. On the very top you have your legal disclaimer. Second page is a certificate of authenticity, signed and dated. Every circuit is tested before shipping. And here are some of the components that would be in the circuit. This shows you how they would go along in the circuit. Here's a PMP circuit. Here's a TIP31 along with a 2 and 222 circuit. And then a 1.5 volt AA battery circuit. bag of extra components so you can make the other two circuits. A 9 per turn pancake coil along with a 1.5 volt circuit pre-made on the breadboard. An extra 5 turn pancake coil. L2 and a L3 coil. Here I have a small red wire coming off the base of the transistor. That's where the L2 coil will connect. The L3 coil will connect to the negative side of the source battery. Slide your L1 coil over top of the L2 coil. then connect the bottom to the base of the transistor. And the L3 coil will be connected to the negative side of the source battery. The kit comes with a AA battery holder. To tune it, you'll slide the L1 coil up and down the L2 coil, along with moving the L3 coil closer or further away. I'm going to tear this apart and make the high voltage circuit. For this one we're going to use this PMP transistor circuit using the TIP42C. Show you the extra components that come with the kit. We had a AA battery holder. One heat sink. I already put the TIP42C on this one. 
two alligator clips, two 1N4148 diodes, one LED, three 2N222 transistors, sorted test jumpers, one mega ohm resistor, a 100K resistor, a 400 picofarad capacitor, and two UF4007 diodes. I'm going to connect the 100K resistor to the negative side. That's going to be connected to the base of the transistor. And I'm going to connect the 1N4148 diode from the base to the negative or to the positive side of the breadboard. I'm also going to run one of the test jumpers over so I don't short the coil load on the heat sink or the collector or the transistor and then connect the emitter to the positive side And if the pink alcohol goes to the collector of the transistor, the other end would go to the negative side. And I'm going to connect L3 coil to the positive side here. Use my alligator clips. Be running it off a 12 volt battery. Here I have a 48 inch tube. See that light's pretty nice. This kit was without uh, top load mounts. For $2 more I also sell top load mounts, kits with the top load mounts. You can find
find more information at solariexciter.com.